Like, like, like you be making them funny faces. Well, here once again comes J. Parr, agent of the <laughs> stars. Oh, absolutely. He's going to attempt to defeat three other people here. J. Parr's been talking a lot of trash. He's been talking trash about maybe going after that North American Championship. Got into it with me earlier in the booth, to be quite honest with you, when I brought up the fact that J. Parr has not been a champion in some time. Here comes Flex Dynamite Sr., one of the senior Lucha Libre fighters, the catch fighter from south of the border. And here comes Kerosene, a man we have not seen in some time, has the flaming hot choke slam there, the biggest individual in this contest. And let's bring out a man from Brazil, a capoeira fighter, Bruno Wilson. He's <laughs> only been on the scene maybe the past month, but already making waves, already has quite the fan following. It, number of ladies seem to be accompanying him to the arena each and every week in any case fatal four-way elimination rules here that opening bell sounds and we see everybody's going to kind of jockey for a position here and try to figure out exactly what they have to do to set themselves up for success still no contact yet and looks like bruno that time shoots off flex dynamite no, get off of me and the senior there, full arm dragon twist takedown there on Bruno. We see on the right oh. side of your screen, it's Kerosene going at it with the Canadian J Par, the proudly Canadian J Par. Doesn't ever let me forget about it. Collar and elbow now, Kerosene now up against that corner. Eats four boots from J Par. Victory roll here. Referee was going to get into position, but a nice kick out by Kerosene. Flex Senior and Bruno now exchanging kicks and chops. The referee's just going to look on, let this thing play out, and be ready for if there's any pinfall or submission attempts at any point. Low blow, there from, <laughs> low blow there from Jay Parm. Not surprised. You know, I talked a little bit earlier about how that was his favorite hole. And his only out was to tell me that it wasn't a hole. Oh, oh. He just did it again. Jay Par now collar and elbow with Bruno oh. sent into the corner. Bruno gets his oh, high no, rate. Bridging Dragon Suplex that time on Kerosene, who successfully kicked out. Nicely done. It's like Flex is up top. Thought better of flying off that top turnbuckle. We have a hockey right here. Oh. Snaps off the Cabra Door Conilo, that tilt the world backbreaker. Does the Luchador Flex Senior. Flex Senior now fighting out of the corner. Million dollar fist drop there. Shades of the very great Ted DiBiase from back in the day. Dropped the knee that time. And really what we're seeing here is guys trying to get off any moves that they can just to wear down the opponents here in the early going. Bruno kind of the first oh, man to what is this? What is roll to the outside. j Par there. Already looking for his sharpshooter. That's sharpshooter number one of probably 17 we're going to see here tonight. It's a boot there. Flex Senior. Corkscrew sent on. Oh, oh, oh. Bruno and J Bar back up now. Oh. Well, it looked like Bruno that time almost tried to go for maybe a, an Irish whip to the far side. Couldn't quite get it off. The brakes were put on there. Kerosene. Sent in, but Kerosene fights back. Look at the double team move here. Oh, 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 get off of me. Get off. Oh, whoops. Nicely done. That magnum into the senton. Back heel trip there from Bruno. Oh, Bruno does a backflip. And we see once again that sharpshooter from J-Par. The referee checking the hold. Kerosene did not want to give it up. Kerosene now. Looking very good. Military press here. Takes j up. Big man with that gorilla press slam. Hits the ropes. Now, if I'm kerosene and I'm the biggest man in this match, I might want to, you know, slow things down. Maybe get out of the ring momentarily. Breathe a little bit. As we see kerosene yeah, eating that right. relay yeah. dragon suplex. It's just good strategy there. He's the bigger man. He's going to gas out a little bit sooner than the, the lighter weight wrestlers. Of course, you gotta uh, pay attention to the referee's count. There is a, a 10 count on the count out here in this organization. Bruno now in the driver's seat, takes down two men. There's the third, drops kerosene. J Par now caught, front chancery suplex. 
Beautifully executed by Flex Senior. Tat, Tat, he's done, he's done, Tat. Stretch muffler here. Oh, get off of me. Kerosene wanted to get the submission there, couldn't quite get it off. j Paul runs into the brick wall that his Kerosene goes down. Now gets caught once again in that stretch muffler. Ref, ref, this is Bruno. He tapped, he tapped, I swear to God he did. Missile drop kick off the top rope. Nicely done. DDT there from J Par inside the squared circle. J Par front chancery. Uppercut knee. Oh no. His basement style roundhouse kicks. I crotch. Shoulder breaker. Nicely done by Kerosene. Who once yeah. again will go back to that leg. Oh, no. Get over me. Get over me. Oh, oh, what a prick. Oh, Two what a change that prick. time. Kerosene runs in, full head of steam, got caught, side headlock, ends up in the corner there. Bruno, I think, is going to no, dial no, it up. No, Not no, sure what no. that area code oh, is down there. <laughs> Amazing red calls out the 718. Out there in Brooklyn. Fujiwara armbar from j Par move that, you know, we've seen guys like Antonio Colt use that. A lot of people like to use that hold. Very effective. Both men now. Oh, oh, being Jay Parr and Kersey. This is one of the position. deep legal ass I'm gonna get him. Was that Bulldog? That's oh, the Lariat. Low blow from Jay Parr. Back into that Fujiwara arm bar. Bruno gonna fly. Once again, missile drop kick to the outside. The referee does continue to count. The referee at five now. And Flex staying out there a little bit longer just to catch his breath before coming back in. I mean, he caught a heavy missile drop kick just about 30 seconds before. Shot off his Bruno that time. The timing wasn't there from Flex. Wrist clutch, fisherman suplex, referee in position. No! Roll break, break, roll break. Referee not seeing that rope break there. If the ref doesn't see it, the ref's not going to call it. High crotch, scooping a slam that time from Kerosene. J-Par begging off. Gets caught with oh, flying head scissors. No, get off of me, Bruno. Get off of me, piece of crap. Flex drops <laughs> the elbow to the small of the back of Bruno. Oh, this one from J-Par. You saw it. You saw it. Into that Fujiwara armbar. Basement flash kick that time from Flex Dynamite Sr. There's that rewind, Rana. Bruno shot off, high cross body. No referee. Think there might have been a rope break there, had there been one. A flurry here from Bruno. This is the thing about Bruno. What he lacks in chain wrestling, he makes up for in strikes. I mean, those kicks are lethal. The educated feet of Bruno Wilson, nothing to be joked about. Kerosene now with that Arn Anderson style gourd buster coming off the top. Oh, well, dang it. <laughs> Couldn't score with that knee, but that's all right. He will stay on his man. Flex now fighting the world and winning. Little bullet barb arm, Armstrong uh, knee drop there. Oh, get off of me. Get Spin off heel me, kick Bruno, from Bruno. High cross body. Referee drops down. Only a two count. Short lariat there from Kerosene on j -Par. Drops the knee to the back of the skull of j -Par. Kerosene now front face lock. Shades of Davy oh. Boy Smith there. Delayed vertical suplex. We see the Jujigatami there from Flex Senior. It's made a lot of gentlemen gentlemen tap to that. Did you see that low blow? Did you see that low blow? No, and get him off of me. It's a low blow, and that is it. A low that blow and a Fujiwara arm bar. That is crazy. That is crazy. They're going to love that. Oh, my God. Referee. And Kerosene has Refer tapped me. out. He was brought out. He was brought out. Flex yeah. Dynamite Senior now. Looking for the Shining Wizard, could not get it, and then J-Par not letting go of that Fujiwara armbar. Kerosene, though, with a very impressive showing here. Schoolboy and the butt-butt. Roundhouse kick, spinning back kick, and here come Flex Sr. Once again, that flying head scissors nicely done, down to the final three men. Pulls guard, once again does Flex Sr. into that Jujigatami, and that's the second submission and second elimination in this encounter. Down to the <laughs> that's break. Now. I hate that. I need to find out even. Ugh. And it's maybe the most experienced wrestler in this organization versus one of the rookies who's only been here for a month. Flex has been 
wrestling since the early 1980s. We have the the rookie, the not even 25 year old yet, Bruno. Hits the ropes, back body dropped over the top rope to the outside. We basically have a singles match here. It's like these two guys uh, competed in other matches, and now it's down to these two. We're going to see who has more gas left in the tank. Arachnid Soul still here in the booth calling the action with you. AAWA fight to survive. We do this every Friday night. Flex now. Roundhouse kicks to the sternum. Was the trifecta drops Bruno. Now the kicks are usually what Bruno goes for. Nice springboard into that ace crusher. Came off that middle rope off the quebrada. And Bruno rolling to the outside. Just a momentarily convalesced there. Gotta watch that 619. Almost took that man's head off. Bruno now sent to the turnbuckle. Flex backs up. Thought he was coming in. Full head of steam. There it is. Comes in. Little corkscrew. Little tornillo, if you will, on that splash. Flex Dynamite Senior now. Well, no, Flex Dynamite Senior, I was about to say, is taking this thing over, but Bruno comes back with the strikes, hunts his man, was so nice he just did it twice, went for it a third time, could not get it. Both men jockey for position and circle here in center ring. AAWA, some of the best pro wrestling you're going to find on the planet, some of the championships that are of the most prestige. And both guys now trying to find the range here. Both guys kind of a little timid to go in and get, get caught with anything. Front face lock here. Shades of Hayabusa, the spinning falcon arrow, sat out with it. And no, not tonight. Flex Dynamite Sr. has beat a lot of people with that move, but Bruno is not one of them. Bruno, though, with the quick feet, got a couple of shots in there, hits the ropes. Basement drop kick. Very nicely done. When you see guys set up for that with like a, a snap mare or a three-quarter cravat chancery and then hit the ropes, the guys are still kind of dazed when they get hit with that eventual kick off the ropes. And Flex now looks like he's going to fly. Well, he's not getting any awards for, uh, you know, having the most height or distance here tonight, but it was effective and did work. Once again, that corkscrew falcon arrow outside the ring. The referee continues to count. Nice drop kick there. But was that everything that Flex had left in the tank? I mean, the longer that this thing goes, you got to think the more this is going to favor Bruno Wilson. Bruno now sent back outside over the top row. I think if Bill Hurd was here, that would have been a disqualification. Nicely done. Almost like the Shocker Spear. We used to see Shocker used in CMLL and AAA back in the day. Unfortunately, you can only win matches in this organization inside the ring, so that's not quite going to get it done. See if Bruno's going to fly here and does. Maybe he should have thought better of it, but he had committed himself. Missile drop kick to the outside. No water in the pool. Once again, that bullet Bob Armstrong type knee from Flex Dynamite Sr. Flex Dynamite Sr. here needs to figure out how to put Bruno away. It's, it's much more than just getting off one or two things. You really need a combination to either take into a pin or a submission. Spinning heel kick there. Shades of Savio Vega. Bruno must be in those old Attitude Era tapes. Front Chancery Suplex, nicely done. Both men down. Bruno back up, but on spaghetti legs. Tilts through. There's that Shocker Sphere once again. Referee in position. And only got a two count. The tenacity of Bruno is off the charts here. I mean, the fighting spirit of this young warrior is unmatched really in the young locker room. And here's just one more guy that we might see competing as we see the standing moonsault press. Bruno's just one more guy we might see competing pretty soon for that Young Lions championship. Big Mother Trucker has been a great champion, almost held that belt for probably 9, 10, maybe 11 months now. Full on dragon twist here from Bruno. He's actually dropping for me on that armor here. Get a little bit more torque on it. Victory roll. <laughs> Only got a two count that time. Both these guys still going at it. Okay. And I like how this match has kind of slowed down and become a little bit more methodical as we've arrived here at the final two. Muay Thai Plum and the uppercut knee strikes. Nice K brought a moonsault. Bruno on top. Only oh. got a two count. So close. And you got to think that Flex Dynamite Sr. has seen so much Lucha Libre over the years that, you know, he's prepared himself for certain attacks, things like Quebrada Moonsaults. This is that bridging dragon. I think that's going to be it. 
And no, once again, Bruno able to kick out. I mean, this thing started as a Battle Royale match, and we basically have a singles match here. Front chancery suplex there. Some might call it a front head and arm suplex. Both are correct. Nice inside forearm shiver that time. Bruno now eating another one from the other side. It looked like Flex going orthodox and southpaw with his strikes. Takes a moment to breathe. We talked about Kerosene earlier on and how he was a little bit bigger. Maybe would gas out a little bit sooner. That is the situation that we see here with Flex Dynamite Sr. now. Bruno, on the other hand, has a lot of his attribute points in his agility. He's carrying less weight. He has the age advantage. Baseball slides, but goes all the way out to the arena floor. I guess that's better than getting back body dropped out there. And Bruno getting right back into the ring, not playing out there. Nice series of kicks there as Flex Dynamite Sr. was taunting. There's the rewind, Rana. Picks his man back up. Bruno now, well, it looked like Bruno was trying to put together something. It's like I said, you need to put together a, a combination to really win in this organization. Flex going to fly. Springboard nicely done. Shades of Canada's greatest <laughs> athlete, and Storm, with that spinning heel kick off the top. Maybe once again looking for that Falcon Arrow. Had it countered into a modified DDT by Bruno. Muay Thai style roundhouse kick right to that luchador mask. Spinning back kick, caught that man on the jaw, screamed out bottle cap when he did it, prong hold. And no, only got a two count. I mean, the fact that this thing is still going is absolutely incredible. Both of these guys here tonight on AAWA Fight to Survive have their reputations on the line. Modified Shote palm strike, now backhand knife edge chops. The machine gun chop, shades of Kenta Kobashi. It's going to be a dragon suplex, but also a rope break. Might be able to hit it again from right there, away from the ropes, and this will be it. Referee drops down. And no, once again, another two count, 2.9 that time. Not a light, not a lot of uh, daylight between the palm and the hand of the referee as we see that Bombay stomp, shades of Sanjay Dutt, moonsault press. Referee in position. And no, once again, a 2.9. Now, when we talk about Flex Dynamite Sr., what he's going to look for is either going to be that spinning falcon arrow we've already seen twice as we see this inside cradle. And the other move he's going to look for is that pulled guard into the Juji Gatami. He's already eliminated one man with it here tonight. When we talk about Bruno, Bruno's got a, uh, that moonsault stomp that we saw. He also has a series of kicks that he likes to go for, but some of these things are not as easy to pull off with the timing and the range. Talky fight now, overhand rights, and we see the roundhouse kicks from Bruno. Drop kick there, but the fighting spirit and the spin wheel kick, and he comes back into this thing. Bruno now opening up that combo, Bruno rush, Moonsault Press, once again, I believe that will be it. And Bruno gets the do oh. for tonight in this Battle Royale match. No shame to all four competitors. Everybody put on a tremendous performance. And that is the biggest win in the career, the short career of Bruno. We're going to see how this man's career plays out moving forward. AAWA, Fight to Survive. More action on tap. 17 minutes and 20 seconds, Bruno Wilson gets the Duke with the Moonsault Press.